he's in the tire. He stays in the tire. He's not even gonna come out. You see him? You have him. You have him. Oh my god! What the? <laughs> out of a tire! Out of a tire? Oh my god! Dude, that's a big one! Holy son of a gun, that's a big one. What are we doing today? We're fishing. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of G, G Outdoors. Outdoors. Morning edition. Uh, it's the first morning fish we've done all year. I don't know why we waited this long. It's just the way Seven it happened. So. Seven o'clock. We got some grass edges over there. So we're gonna try doing a little jigging action, a little spinner yeah. baits. Today is all Finesse about lures. finessing. Yeah. That's it, finessing those fish. No worms, so if you're, looking for, now, for, if you're looking for a worm video right now, it ain't gonna happen. But, uh, well, we have the Senkos. We might uh, Texas rig those up, try it inside these little We're gonna be trying pockets. near my house, close by. There's an area that there's a lot of grasses and stuff like that. We're trying to get some big bass, yeah. some I just picked up a big caster for the first time. I'm gonna try it, so, uh, oh, farts. But I'm gonna watch my ears. I practiced a bit yesterday, but uh, we'll see. Catch the this first fish on a big caster. This guy was casting in his backyard. Well, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta Could do. Could you imagine his neighbors what they're thinking? Uh, he there's hooked no the, water here. He hooked a garden. That's what he did. Uh, <laughs> well, stay tuned to find out if we find, not, uh, catch any fish. <laughs> Three hundred and forty-six minutes later. What'd you get, bud? First fish of the day. Wow, well, that's a big one. For eight hours. Calm it down, bud. Calm it down. Calm it down. Calm it down. Calm Ooh. it down. Oh, first one of the day. He ain't Maybe big. Maybe if I put it closer to the cam, it looks bigger. I don't oh, know. Now he's big. But uh, one good. fish is better than no fish. That's it. If it was a survival video, we'd be still hungry after an hour, but. Oh well. He's gone. Let's get back at it. All right, guys. It's been one hell of a morning. Uh, not, uh, not a whole lot. We got about two hours left, so we're gonna try to catch as many fish. Mike says if he doesn't catch as many as I do, he's gonna throw himself in the water. So that should be fun. So let's stick with it and see the Mine's next two rough. hours. They're rough. All right. All right, guys. We're just walking the sandy beaches, trying to cast into the uh, the lily pads and. Look at the size of this. I guess it's a muscle. Look at the size. I have no idea if they're edible. I told Mike the yard just so we could eat them. But uh, comment down below if they're edible. I don't want to die. He's actually coming out. You can see it's open. He's starting to. He's in there. Yeah. Probably hard to see on camera. I wonder if they're good for bait. We'll see. Probably illegal here because everything's illegal in Quebec. But pretty cool. Let me know if they're edible. We'll come back next year, fix them up, get back at it. Fish on! Big bass. Holy like big smokes. Bass. Just smoked the jig. That's what I am talking about. Oh, we actually saw him. He attacked it and now he's muddy as hell. Let's, we're gonna wash him off. On the black and blue crawfish jig. I was putting a jig with this as a trailer. I was like, you know what? It's very shallow, very weedless. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go with the crawfish. And uh, hold on, let me wash him up for you guys. Looks to be like a... Uh, Two and a half, three pounder easily. Look at that. Should we weigh him? The scale? Do you have one? Yeah, yeah. It's in the bag. Let's do this. Oh! Come on. Gone forever. You were just saying, you know what? Let's try to cast in here. I was like, Mike was laughing at me because I was getting stuck in the weed. I was like, oh, it's a weedless hook. And then that wasn't even the same fish. The one that attacked was actually up there. And then this fish right grabbed the it right here. Of yeah. There's, there's a street behind that the water goes over just a bit and why? Because the minnows and probably go hide there. And then one bass jumped right in here. I missed my cast and I ended up catching him. So that means there's another bass. All right, guys. So um, spotted a couple of alligator gar. The water's really shallow where we are here. But uh, 
we're trying to hook them. We could see a couple swim by and um, just my luck, I didn't bring my other rod and uh, I got a major knot and yeah, I have no more line. So I'm gonna have to go pick up some line. So I'm gonna hold the cam and we're gonna try to hook something. So stay tuned. Right here, in the tire. Throw it in the tire. Just come right here. I'm not even kidding. Slowly. Dude, he grabbed it. Because you missed, he's in the tire. He stays in the tire. He's not even gonna come out. Now I hope he's still there. But dude, honestly, I saw him hit. You see? You have him, you have him. Hey, Sean. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> Out of a tire! Out of a tire! Oh my god! Dude, that's a big one! Look at the size of the head! Watch yeah. that it doesn't break your line. Oh my god! Did I not <laughs> tell you it was a tire? What? All the stuff's back there. Alright, let's try to grab Dude, this guy. He was in a tire. Oh man! I'm gonna let you we grab the pole. We are standing in three to six inches of water, max. Can you believe me, huh? when I told you, cast in the tire, he, he grabbed the Senko right on the lip. This guy has power. Look at him, that's a dark, dark caddy. Let's go, Let's see how much he weighs. It's in him? Yeah. It was a four, 4.1. Four pounder. All right, we're gonna release him now. Dude, you just thought I was you, like screwing around with you, eh? When I his said, eyes. Yeah, he's uh, Dude, he's, yeah, he has he's no dark. eyes. Is he missing an he's eye? He's missing an eye. Yeah, yeah, he's Good. missing actually an eye. I don't know if you could see on that. This side, hold on. And look on that side where his eye is. He's actually one eye jacked over here. All right. He's... We're going to go put him back where we found him. In the pollution. The water went down suddenly at the river. Oh. Was this front tire, yeah. right? not the back one? Yeah. Man, he's actually missing an eye. Or was he stuck there? Maybe we should leave him out. He probably had no way of escaping. Imagine. That's freaking awesome, man. Catch fish in a tire. Wow. Wow. What just happened, Mike? Hey, Sean, we're just packing the bags. And uh, yeah, I got a fish on Marco's rod, because Mike, oh, yeah. I have no more, no more lines. So we were taking turns here. Oh man, nice bass. He hit it hard. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, he spit out your lure. And he catches the lure. Forget the lure, get the fish. Good job. Nice fish. We will not complain when you catch <laughs> some nice bass, especially on a slow day. How was it, while you were reeling in? Slow or? I was reeling in. Drop? All right. So you I was not in? ready. Yeah, I was reeling in and boom, he just hit hard. Yeah, I was just reeling in, stop, reeling in, boom, and he hit. And he, saw, and he hit it on the drop? And Straight up, yeah. yeah and as soon hit. as you stop, it drops it's, a bit. Yeah. So, yeah, it does like the crayfish. They back up and then you just let it sink and it worked. And on Marco's, Marco's rod can be Good happier. Good job. No, Let's nobody's going to complain when it comes when you catch fish. All right, guys. So uh, it's the end of the uh, the day. Not really the day day, but uh, we have a party to head to now. So we came for the morning. We did a couple of hours, and uh, yeah, it's we got some fish. It's like one uh, thirty. We gotta go. But we said, hey, we had a couple hours free. Let's go try at the couple of spots. See hey, if they bite. We caught some bass. We uh, caught that nice catfish out of a tire. Come on, who does that? Not every day you find a catfish in a tire. It, w uh, it was fun. Caught a little bass and uh, It's I our can't first complain. time at this spot and I don't think it'll be our last. It's actually pretty promising. I would definitely come back here. Crack of dawn, early morning. Yeah, tons and, of lily pads and uh, you know, we even saw some alligator garsh. So uh, we're going to do some research and uh, maybe we might just catch some next time. Walk the whole shore, spend at least five, six hours just over here in the lily pads and stuff. Oh yeah. Catch some action fish. This is uh, just a little quick segment for you guys to show you. If you don't go out, you can't catch fish. So, it's science. You know, just go out there. Try different lures. It doesn't bite. Try something else. Marco's trying to reel something in right before we leave. 
Um, yeah. One last cast. You know, it's only about 76 times he says that last cast. But uh, yeah, we're gonna pack it up and uh, stay tuned for some more videos, guys. That's it. We'll see you guys next week. Make sure to like and subscribe. Take it easy. Love you. you. Hey guys, I hope you liked that fishing video. If you guys want to see some more of our videos, click on the links on the side. And as always, like and subscribe. Stay tuned.